Hi, Dr. Paul here. This is gonna be a set of ears to look at. Something different. We're looking inside those ears, right? Inside the We've ears. We've got a camera to look inside We've the ears. We've got ear. a camera. This camera will allow you to look inside the ears. All right. Um, um. <laughs> what? Well, we're on camera and you have to edit it out. Sure. Okay, mom doesn't want to be on this time. Oh. She was dressed up yesterday. She's so it? pretty though. I know. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> I heard, despite your beauty, you don't want to be on camera. I do. Are you kidding? It's really sad to hear. Just as beautiful in your own. Honey, camera. I gotta go. Dr. Thomas is giving me a hard time. Oh. <laughs> don't worry, I'll, I'll edit it out. I'll edit oh, it out. I don't care. You can put me on. I don't care. Yay! And you've had a lot of ear infections in the past. Yeah. And ended up getting tubes put in mm -hmm. about how long? A year ago? A year and a half. A year and a half ago. Okay. So we will we'll look down the ear here and focus it. Let's see. Ta -da. Almost there. Oh, look yeah, at that. There focus. There's that tube. That's a eustachian tube. Sorry. That's a pneumonostomy tube that goes through the eardrum and allows, when you have an infection behind that eardrum that we're looking at, the pus can drain right through that tube. See that little hole there? I thought that was an eye. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah. So that is a really, really clear picture of what a tube looks like. And folks, you can notice the location on the eardrum. It's usually placed in that lower third of the eardrum. Full focus again. So that, it, so that it avoids hitting the little bones. So now we're gonna look at the other side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is the side. Now, you guys are gonna miss what we had yesterday, but look oh at that tube. Goodness. So what you're seeing, now you can see some redness of that eardrum, see that? And when I have my otoscope, I can actually see it's bulging a little bit. So you can see the difference of that eardrum around the tube is red. Is that all blood? Mm -hmm. That blackish dark stuff there, that's blood. And you can see it's filling the tube, you see that? Mm -hmm. Now yesterday, the blood was totally covering that blue. We couldn't see the tube at all. There was just this blob of dark purplish bluish blood and I was suspicious there was a tube under it because there was just sort of this little hint of a circle that you guys are seeing there. Here's the eardrum. Normally it's gray and transparent. And if you look down here when they do this surgery, it's a few minutes long. Little incision in the eardrum. They pop a little tube in there. They balance it like that. And in this case, hers is blue. But basically it's just allowing any pus that might be here to just drain out so you don't get an ear infection. And then you don't have to use antibiotics, which is really cool. Okay. Well, we're gonna try something that's never been tried before in the history of mankind. <laughs> I don't know, that might've been too dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna put some hydrogen peroxide in that ear. And hydrogen peroxide, this I do know, when it hits blood, it just fizzes. You tried it yesterday, yeah, right? it was weird. So the reason we could actually see the tube today is she went and did this at home. Yep. And I'm hoping that that hydrogen peroxide will work in that little hole between the where the blood is filling that tube and maybe we can get it to open up without her losing the tube. I can't really irrigate an ear that has a tube because I'll probably dislodge it and we don't want to do that. She went through surgery to get that tube yep. to stop all these recurrent ear infections. We're going to draw up a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. There we go. We're just going to pour a little hydrogen peroxide in your ear and then just move it around so it gets in there. You can see it foaming already, folks. That fizzing. Can you hear it? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what are you doing? Hydrogen peroxide, adding it to some very warm water because we might we might try gently flushing. Could have sworn you just said we weren't gonna flush. I can't really irrigate an ear that has a tube because I'll probably dislodge it. Well it doesn't feel warm enough. We gotta make it warmer. If you put cold water in somebody's ear, you can make their eyes go like this horizontal nystagmus. You do not want to do that. It can make you sick, like nauseated vomiting. Dun, 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 dun. You get to hold that like so. What a team. I'm just going to very gently squirt water like that. Go ahead, saw a chunk of wood. A little bit. I'm being very gentle. Does that feel okay? Mm-hmm. There's a tiny floater. Oh. Yeah. Is it loud? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, we got look. a little flake of something. Oh, look. A swimmer. We got a little swimmer something or other. There it is. <laughs> a little friend. We are looking down and there's the blue tube. And it's got actually now we have a plug of wax sitting on the end of it. And around the tube, you see the gray? Mm -hmm. That's eardrum. The red that you see is, is actually your ear canal. Okay. Is that blood? No, oh. it's just a blood vessel there you're seeing. Oh. And then that blue is your tube and it's where we had blood before caked all over this, that's wax. And I think because you have a gray eardrum, we, we can assume that you don't have much of an infection anymore. So when you're in the bath, before it's got soap and dirt in there, when you first get in there, I want you to just lay down in the bath, let water over your ears and do this gently. Because we want that water to go in just kind of gently, slush, 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 slush. We've got a little bit of wax sitting on that on, over that tube, and maybe you can, with warm water, just loosen it up. Okay. Um, but because there's not a red eardrum and there's not a lot of pus back there, I, I don't think we need to risk further possibly disrupting that tube. Sure. I am not looking forward to when the ears, nose, and throat doctor who put those tubes in watches this video. Dr. Thomas, what the heck are you doing? We were very careful. Tube is still in place. We now know what we're dealing with. Thank you so much. You were amazing. Guys, lots of thumbs up. You gotta share this video. We got a star here. Oh, high five to high the five. cameraman. High five to the cameraman. High five. And the mom. Oh, yes. All right. High five. Oh. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Bye.